All right, thank you everyone for holding. We are now joined with uh, Jamie Chadwell, the head coach of Coastal Carolina. Uh, coach, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, to our members of the media, it's star one to get in the queue to ask questions. Uh, coach, while we're waiting for that, would you mind starting us off with a opening statement? Well, coming off a, a disappointing loss here, we had a we had a uh, our highest attendance crowd for family weekend and and. Uh, and obviously didn't play very well. Georgia State, I thought Coach Elliott did a great job having their team ready to go. They came in and just played better than us and outcoached us. So it was disappointing coming off an, uh, an open week and, and not playing better. But today's a new day. we got a great opponent coming up with Georgia Southern who's really talented in, in all three phases. And uh, we got to try to correct a few things. But looking forward to our matchup in Statesboro. Thank you very much, Coach. Our first questions come from uh, Whitney Hayworth. Uh, Whitney, please go ahead. Coach, good morning. How are you? I'm I'm fine, Whitney. How are you doing? Doing well. So, in your game against uh, Georgia State, you know you were able to play both quarterbacks, Fred and Bryce. What has it meant to be able to see them both be able to take snaps and you know come in and maybe pick up slack and make an impact when needed? Well, it's been uh, it's been nice. You know, you feel like if somebody's um, Maybe not doing as well. You have a guy you feel like you can go to a reliever, so to speak, that can maybe give you a lift. Uh, we did that Saturday. Actually, Fred got hurt a little bit early in the game Saturday and wasn't quite himself. And so Bryce had to play uh, maybe a little bit more than we had planned uh, because of the situation. But I thought they both did a good job. And, and, and they're both getting better each week. Uh, I'd love for, uh, you know, where, where we get to the point where you feel great about uh, – uh, one guy, and he could sort of be the guy, but right now we're just not to that point yet. But they're both doing a solid job for us. And as you mentioned, obviously it was disappointing to have a loss coming off of the bye week. What are some things that you worked on during the bye week that you did not see improve maybe in this game that you hope to work on even more this week? Well, after after watching that game, there's a lot of things we probably didn't do a good job in the, in the open week there. Um, you know, I think more than anything it was just sloppy. We had the we had more penalties than we had in a little while. Uh, there was just a sloppiness. It just wasn't a clean game from from our side, and and you know, obviously Georgia State had something to do with that. I thought they did a great job, and so uh, the credit goes to them there. But just from a from a rhythm standpoint, missing some easy easy throws and some drop passes, jumping off sides, and things that that uh, our opponent didn't make us do, we did to ourselves. I think that was more disappointing than anything. Just coming off of it, it was just some sloppiness from, from that side of it that you would hope you could clean up throughout the open week, and we didn't do a good job of doing that. Some of those things that you just mentioned are things that Georgia Southern has also struggled with this season, and I think Chad Lunsford would be one of the first to, to admit that. Uh, you know, So what, is, what have you seen exactly from them, both offensively and defensively, and, and what do you think is maybe one of the biggest threats heading into this game? Well, obviously they – you know, their, their quarterback's the guy there on offense. He makes them go. He can – the thing with him, you can play everything right, and he can just make a guy miss and then take it the distance. they got great backs. I think they're good up front. And then when they do, when they do throw, they have they have some talented receivers. So he makes them go offensively. I think defensively, they're, they're obviously they're, – their corners, their corners take a lot of wide receivers out of the game. Both corners are, are great players, and they can lock you up. And then they're able to put an extra hat or two there in the box and – and really love the box on you, and so it makes it tough to run, and you got to be able to clean some passes. I think um, that's where their strengths are. Uh, they're up really good in the box there. And, and so our challenge is can we can we stop the quarterback in space, which we had trouble last week doing for Georgia State. Can we stop, stop uh, their quarterback here this week? And then for us, we're going to have to be able to complete some one-on-one -on -one passes and win, win the matchups because we're not going to be able to line up and run the ball against uh, Georgia Southern. So that's a big challenge this week that we got to try to uh, be ready for.